A plume of forever chemicals is on the move in the metro. This will be by far and away the largest attempt at capturing contaminated water plume in Minnesota. The state's plans to contain the movement of PFAS. The first lady spent the evening in Minnesota campaigning for her husband's re-election. But post Roe America isn't the future that we should be handing down to our daughters and our sons. What Dr. Jill Biden says is at stake for women. It's a runaway train and nobody's stopping it. A stopgap measure to control the Met Council. Let's have them prove to us they can manage something. The last minute bill circulating at the Capitol to limit spending moving forward. And can the Timberwolves keep the momentum going in round one of the NBA playoffs? How the team stacks up against Phoenix as they prepare for game one tomorrow in downtown Minneapolis. Those stories and more right now on Eyewitness News on 45 TV. Good evening. We thank you for joining us at 9. I'm Kevin Dorn. And I'm Lindsey Brown. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency is releasing details on a plan to contain PFAS chemicals in the East Metro. Much of the state's PFAS contamination has been linked to 3M facilities in the area. Richard Reeves live in Woodbury right now with how this plan would work and how that city's dealing with these forever chemicals. Rich? Yeah, Kevin, this MPCA plan would use a series of wells and pipelines, basically would pull up that PFAS tainted water and replace it with clean water. And for the first time, we're seeing how far that PFAS might spread in the next couple of decades. PFAS in our drinking water. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency says the forever chemicals are in 22 water systems in 17 cities. The U.S. EPA has made a determination that this is a much more dangerous chemical than they had thought before. But for the first time, the MPCA is sharing how a PFAS plume is spreading in the East Metro. This rough map showing where they're headed in the coming decades. Geologist Jeff Broberg says it's not a small problem. It's not gallons, it's acre feet. Or, or, or even cubic miles in this instance of water that's contaminated. But what to do? On Friday, the agency unveiled a plan to dig 27 wells to contain the plume. This is a way to help reduce the spread of the PFAS uh, throughout the region. 18 wells would draw up tainted water for treatment. Nine others would inject clean water back underground. So it would be treated uh, for any impacts from PFAS and then any water that is in excess that we don't necessarily need for municipal supplies would be put back into the aquifers to maintain safe groundwater elevations. Right now the plan is only on paper, no timeline or budget yet. The PFAS plume is concerning. It's um, in the groundwater structure underneath the East Metro. Woodbury Public Works Director Mary Van Milligan says her town is prepared to handle PFAS, including this temporary treatment plant, designed to filter out PFAS to safe levels in some of their wells. But she warns untreated water may have to be used during high-use summer months. We will have to operationally bring in wells uh, with PFAS on occasion um, to meet the water demand when water is really, really high. Now, Van Milligan says that untreated water will be co-mingled with treated water. Now, meanwhile, Woodbury has spent millions of dollars for a new water tower, for a new water treatment plant. Most of that will be paid for through 3M settlement dollars. As we have been reporting, long-term exposure to PFAS has been linked with certain kinds of cancers and pregnancy complications and other health issues. Reporting live, Richard Reeve, Eyewitness News on 45. Thank you, Rich.